Hey everybody, this is Ty Terrell with IFS University, and I've got two different kinds of athletes uh, that we're going to watch squat today. And we've put out, Tony and I have put out a lot of stuff on velocity-based training, and I want to tell you, or just use these two athletes as an example, as why velocity is a better indicator for training and loading management than just percentage of one rep max. Because we're going to squat both of these athletes at 70% of their one rep max, and we're going to see the differences. And I don't even know what they, what they are yet, but we're going to see the differences uh, in, in how fast they move the bar, even though they're using the same percentage of their one rep max. So let's take a look at it. So here we go with Maria first. And I've got the gym aware right here. Good, and you guys are all gonna get to see what she does. Go ahead. Point seven seven. go ahead. Give me three squats. Good, awesome. You're up, Mace. Let's add Mace's weight on there. So Maria's, uh, let's get this right here. So Maria's max is 220, and so she lifted uh, 150 for 70% of her one rep max. She did it at 0 0.77, 0 0.76, and 0.74 meters per second. Okay, so that would be at the uh, top end, the really fast end of accelerated strength. So that would be considered uh, a relatively heavy loading uh, for her, or according to the strength zones, the VBT strength zones. So let's check out Mace here now. Hold up, Mace. Good, good, and racket. So Mace went 8.3, 0.82, and 0.82 on his reps. So again, so a tenth of a meter per second is a pretty big gap right there. We're talking about uh, over 10% difference uh, in, in uh, the, how fast these athletes, these two athletes are moving uh, the same percentage of one max. So here's the deal. If I said today, if I based my lifting and my loading off a of percentage of my one rep max, and I gave both of these two 70% today, the benefit or the adaptation for the two athletes would be different. They are lifting in two different strength zones even though they're using the same percentage of their one rep max. So that's why tracking velocities is uh, so much more, or so much more better for load management and getting the adaptation that you want, giving the, the exact stimulus that you want to your athlete to get the most out of their training. So just a little food for thought. We'll see you guys next time.